watching his videos. So definitely check him out on YouTube if you haven't yet. Yeah, you got that one video about SD and I had a SDI out of the bear uh, oh, beat yeah. you and stuff like that. So, you know, quality, quality overall. And then uh, looks like we got Quillen on the other side of the match. Okay, Quillen. I've heard this name before, but I'm not sure uh, where, what region he's from, what character he plays. Yeah. I don't think he's from SoCal, that's for sure. Yeah. That's, uh, that's always the tough part about all these, you know, ma major national tournament, international tournaments. It's, it's always hard to keep track of people, right? Yeah. But I definitely appreciate it. It's just, it's crazy yeah. to think that there's already like five different countries represented at this tournament. And it's not even like an Evo or like anything like that. One day. It'll be there yeah. soon. We're building. <laughs> We're building. We're getting there, right? <laughs> we started from the bottom yeah. and, uh, you know, in the... Uh, and the fires of Gardena, and oh, then they're yeah. building up. <laughs> we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. Yeah. Let's now see. We're, we're bougie in the hotels. Yeah, yeah, dude. Hotel for local. Like, MSM is also in this venue, by the way. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's such a huge, huge glow up. Definitely appreciate uh, La Mirada Holiday Inn for having us and hosting us. All right, Pokemon Stadium 2 is the pick, and it's definitely the new. The new starter of choice by and yeah, large by the community. This is definitely the new Smashville. Like, <laughs> instead of like people saying start Smashville, it's like start PS2 it's right when you sit down. But we got the Mega Man coming out from Quillen and Captain L starting with the Pikachu. That's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. I know that um, I going back to Smash 4, Pikachu and Mega Man was uh, an interesting matchup for sure. I haven't actually seen it play out in Ultimate before personally. Yeah, Mega Man is a much better character in this game. That forward air is such a better tool for killing and racking up damage. Leaf Shield is just incredible for uh, racking up damage at low percent as well. Yeah, Mega Man. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, honestly, I feel like outside of like, his football, uh, football Mega Metal Blade setups, he's gotten all of his same tools from uh, Smash 4. But on the other side of it, of course, we got Captain L doing you know everything he can, just keeping Quillen off stage and just holding his ground. It just kind of seems like every time Quillen gets on the other side, he throws out a leaf shield, but Captain L is just able to battle back and just, you know, take care of him and put him right back off stage. Um, Quillen's been on his heels pretty much since uh, 3, 2, 1, go. Definitely. Yeah, Pikachu's one of those characters, man, that he can just apply so much pressure and stay safe at a long distance as well. So even when you think that you're able to get in on him, he can just throw you right back out really quick with uh, characters and normals as well. Hey, he's doing everything he can to battle himself back into the match. But, as I said, uh, Captain L's had him off stage. He's one big hit away, though. And actually, Pikachu being so light, you know, they're both kind of in that kill range. Up till coming out from Mega Man, maybe that forward smash might be enough to put away Pikachu's stock. Great, but still the great parry here. Gonna go high. Yeah, makes really risky spot to be in. Nice. I love that fade back on the forwarder out of shield. Forwarder is a really a tricky move to punish out of shield in general, but just knowing that he would try to punish it, and then getting that uh, killing dash attack. Yeah, so it's tantalizing. He's right there. You know, Pikachu doesn't look like he'd have that much rain. It looks like it'd be something that'd be free to forge or, uh, you know, to grab. But if he fades away, that's like, that's the bait, the frame trap. And as soon as you put that grab out, you're dead. It's done. Yeah, yeah having like a multi hit aerial on shield is just really difficult to punish most of the time. All but the here loops. We go. You can sign the loops. Uh, only got 30, or only got up to 37 on that. Probably uh, dropped it just a little bit, something that Captain L kind of prides himself on. Probably the originator, right, of uh, all the hoops coming out for as far as the Pikachu or Pichu metagame goes. Yeah. Even then, it's kind of funny to say, like, oh man, I dropped it. I only got 37 <laughs> instead of like 80. <laughs> Sorry. That, so, this is the world we live in. What a time to be alive where 37, you're like, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> That's low damage in this game from a combo. Okay, great angle. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> but he covers the neutral get up with the fully charged forest smash. I can't say I've seen that actually connect outside of like a shield break setup. I think uh, Captain L might have been in Smash 4 mode where, you know, the, one of the changes for Ultimate was charging smash attacks. You can charge forever. So he got out. It's like, oh, surely he'll shoot that, no problem. Um, and he even got that off. He's like, oh, yeah, I got got. <laughs> Okay, Quillen trying to force Captain L off the stage. Honestly, uh, that Thunder Jolt just seems like it's really difficult for him to start throwing his projectiles in that range where he wants to get a, a setup because he just gets uh, nixed by it. Uh, and Captain L had a read on that ledge uh, option, but I think I missed it, but he probably intended a pivot grab in that situation. And it's giving, you know, it's giving Quillen an opportunity to battle into it. 
But a back air restores order and Quillen's back off stage. And it oh. almost looks like Captain Nell's not really sure how to close out the stocks outside of kind of fishing for a dash attack, which is giving Quillen an opportunity to really battle back and make up some headway in these matches. Oh, uh, that's probably it. Yeah, he caught the double jump with the M, so he went a little bit too hard off stage to get the stock. I don't think that was a two for him. I think he just missed the ledge on it. Yeah. Yeah, he used the double jump to the ledge after he's up B. Yeah. Back in front of the Epso. So right now, yeah, Captain Al with a pretty good lead, but Quillen slowly edging his way back into it. If you can pick up an early kill, he'll be right back there in business. But it's going to take an up tilt, another, you know, crazy force touch, or a deep back air off stage. Captain knows this thing so safe, knows that he can drop this stocking time, but if he takes it back and just kind of gets his chip dance with the Thunder Jolt, he'll really build on his lead. Still DI in the forward air from center stage. Okay. Yeah, there's a large oh, contingent in the crowd rooting on Quillen. Definitely, it seems like the fan favorite for some reason or another uh, coming through. Got some hype coming uh, coming in from behind the boy, trying to make uh, it happen. Yeah, a lot of people just like to watch Mega Man. His game, but only thing you're gonna watch is him get dunked into the blast zone. Really aggressive offstage play from Captain No. Uh, kind of a mix up too, because he was just picking his spots really carefully, not necessarily fishing for anything too risky, but then as soon as he saw him off stage, just immediately went for the down air. One of yeah. the best buffs Pikachu has in this game. Like, and I feel like he had been setting that up across the entire game. Captain Al just been so patient, really, on stage, kind of throwing Thunder Jolts and being content to play, you know, the uh, the ledge trap game. And it was almost to the point that Quillen was just absolutely shocked that he was going full edge guard mode yeah. at that point, which is not something usually you see from Pikachu. Usually Pikachus are going really hard off stage to try to catch, you know, forward air and things like that. Yeah. It's great that uh, Pikachu has a dare like that. I feel like you said, edge guard potential is so strong. And now that you can take your stock off of a one-hit move, like, that's just uh, as really well to the edge guard game that Pikachu can do. All right, we're opening it up into game two. Town and City's the counter pick. You know, I think maybe Quillen's hoping for a little bit more of an open game, maybe, or, because I'm not sure, I don't think the blast zone part's gonna be to his advantage in any case. I'm curious to see, you know, here why he might've picked this stage over uh, something else like, uh, you know, Kalos or something like that. I know he has a little bit more landing options with the platform. No. Other than that, uh, Captain No can definitely use the stage similarly to his advantage as well. Nice parry on the leaf shield. Uh, otherwise, that's, that was shield pokes like crazy. Yeah. And so far in the matchup, it's kind of been like Captain No has been pretty fearless against leaf shield, not letting it capitalize too much on him. He looks like he's been kind of down or even up airing it preemptively. But even before he lands, you can see him like down tilting it a couple times. That's almost a scary situation for Quillen, but able to battle back and kind of take control of the stage. And he's got Captain L in a little bit of trouble. Maybe a little tentative right there. He had all the frame advantage in the world and kind of backed off to throw out a Metal Blade instead. Captain L gets a quick attack. Nice, can punish him with the lightning with the dash attack. And that move is incredible for killing in this game. But he's gonna make it back. I was like, oh, I was waiting for the air dodge. But I miss input. I did the side B inside the upbeat, mm -hmm. I guess. It's all right. That, that gives Captain L the, the lead to work with here in game two. Trying to close it out, you know. Wants to end the set early. The loops are coming out. Here we go. There's two. Hey, air dodge out. All right. 44% this time. We'll take it. <laughs> He'll take it. And you see the, the jumps. You definitely can tell Quillen's hunting for, you know, that early back air. He's going to get the back throw. Enough Ooh. to kill. Wow. Pichu is like, they took that stock. Let's yeah. see what we can do to bring it back here. Yeah, it's enough to keep him into the game. Uh, still a little percent, and he's making up a lot of that with that leaf shield. Probably meant to forward air in that situation. Kind of back in the wrong direction. Um, nice. Great and uh, input off stage. Oh, not going to get the down air spike. He's still in a horrible spot. Oh, my goodness. So good at catching that air dodge to the ledge. Just seeing all of his options he could do come back and shut them down one by one. Really showing the strength that Pikachu has as an edge guarder in this game. Uh, Especially the change to air dodge too, uh, being a much more committal and unsafe option. We have a character like Pikachu that can force air dodge so well off stage and punish really hard. He's uh, really shows why he's one of the strong characters in the game in general. But here we go, drag down fair combos. Captain L looking so smooth again, loving the parry on the leaf shield as well. Yeah, running away with all the momentum in the world, just everything going right for him so far. And he has him off stage, and he's going aggressive now. He's got the, the crash bomb, uh, weighted it out, and the pressure's right back on. 
again, uh, we talked about it earlier, like he starts off with that kind of defensive play, but then once he knows that he can just act a certain way, he goes super aggressive and he works out in his favor. Yeah, just smart play overall, feeling out his opponent, and yeah, it's a rough situation overall for Quill, and he's down by so much. He kind of seems like he's found his footing a little bit in the matchup, and it's holding fairly even. But he's got a he's got a lot of ground to make up, and Captain L's dangerous. You can tell he's feeling out for that attack. Maybe 10% away from a dash attack. Yeah, that's definitely that's dash that's attack range. Much. Oh, there you go for it. Nice. Uh, uh, forced SD there seems. Um, I like that he used the thunder to stall off stage because he was in danger of possibly getting down air spiked by Mega Man. But since he like threw out the thunder hitbox right where he would throw out the down air, it made it even harder for him to throw it off. Yeah, you know, it just uh, it's it's tough. You get put in those situations. And it's always so tempting. You want to hit that shield button to air dodge out of it. Um, but unfortunately, that was the end for Quillen. Strong play coming out from Captain L, showing that he's a force to be reckoned with this tournament. Look for him yeah. to make a pretty deep run overall. Definitely. I really appreciate that he's here along with Isan, just because it's even more Pikachu representation, uh, as well as uh, Pichu representation. That you can't just say, oh, it's just Isan. Yeah. You know, if both of them are out here doing really well with the character and with like different styles too. For sure. <laughs> Oh, I do think we have the next match. We have Nyren and Forrest. Oh, okay, so let me tell you a little bit about Forrest. Uh, I believe he's from the Midwest, if I'm not mistaken. But he actually upset uh, one of our PR players in pools, round one of winners yesterday, with the Samus. So uh, oh, okay. this is one of the yeah, this is one of the Samus representatives on the stream. So for the first time, I believe, at least on our block, anyway. <laughs> 